Nikki D, football getting up and running. I'm trying to see, is it feeling like football weather yet? Not today, Not but today. tomorrow, oh, yeah. I am so excited for you guys. <laughs> if you are going to be headed to a football game, moms, you can actually wear that cute little sweater, sweater that you time. might want because temperatures are going to drop okay. into the 60s it, as the evening will So progress. would you open the windows overnight? It's still, is it gonna be, it's it, still too warm for still me. Still too warm. Okay. I, for I, I was for you, yes. <laughs> okay. Amy, absolutely. You know. All right. I was just yes. wondering. Yeah. Most people, I, 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 yes. Open your windows this weekend. <laughs> but let me tell you, picture perfect nice. when it comes to the rainbow that we saw yesterday. Are you ready for this? Uh, yeah. This looks like it belongs on a postcard or blown up in someone's Would house. You? This over in Lebanon. Double rainbow. Lyndon Lefevre sent that to me. He lives just down the road from me uh, in Wilson County and he goes, Nick, you got to check this out. It's and so I passed that on to Leland and to you. And isn't that amazing? It almost looks like it's been photoshopped. It, it truly, it truly does. Oh my stars. I mean, it's perfect. Just the perfect photo. And of course you can get that on all of our social media outlets. We're all just staring at it. So thank you so much for sending that in to us. This morning we're coming in 78 muggy degrees outside overlooking Music City. Thankfully, winds are coming in out of our south southwest right at eight. And if you notice Mo earlier in his live shot, you could tell his hair was blowing just a bit. So it is a light breeze, but it's still there this morning. Unlike yesterday over in Hopkinsville, we are dry to start things out. But remember some of those rivers, some of the creeks, the lower lying areas potentially still having some of that standing water because y'all received over an inch of rain within a very short time span. We have some showers still just up to our north. They're easing their way through and then our next band is now beginning to take place just off to our western tier, moving their way just to our east. So Clarksville, you saw upwards of one inch yesterday. You're adding to that this morning. Ashland City right now you're dry, but you'll notice some rain showers moving in. Dixon seeing some heavy rain for you guys as well. Lightning, not too much of an issue to start off the morning, but wouldn't be surprised if we did have a few embedded thunderstorms. Numbers right now coming in 71 over in Crossville where you didn't see a drop yesterday. 74 in Fayetteville, 75 over in Dixon as well as Bowling Green. Winds coming in out of our south. And as we go throughout the day, winds will be around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And they're going to shift out of our west. But we'll see a few times that cruise control as far as your wind around 15. That's going to act almost as like a hair dryer because it's going to be very dense air in place. Today's rain chances more isolated than what we've seen in the past. So be prepared for a few scattered showers. The severe threat very low. Then tomorrow your temperatures are going to drop this thanks to a cold front. Now the afternoon high is all pending on the timing of this. If we get it in in the morning, which is what is anticipated, you're going to really see those clear skies in place as we go throughout football Friday. So here's a look over the next seven days. 89 today. It's going to feel as if we're in those 90s. Just some scattered rain showers overall. Majority of you not going to see too much. 86 tomorrow. That 30% is for the morning. Temperatures will drop into the upper 50s, low 60s going into Saturday and Sunday morning. Labor Day, only a 10% chance of showers. That's for the evening. 88 degrees. And we're going to hang in those 80s going into next week. I have more on your forecast, pinpointing exactly where the rain's moving in. You're watching News Channel 5.